Hello, welcome back. Last time the Tower 16 presented me with a real tricky puzzle and uh, it may have only been half a room, but it was quite a spectacular half room. <laughs> my cursor was on my second file because I had to do a little take two because my recording setup was not set up. But I caught it in time to not lose anything. It's been a while since that happened. All right, so, hi, I'm in the second half of this room where the shaky nightmare blocks are. That's what I've named them. Going up there. And it looks like we have kind of a similar puzzle here as far as like, okay, so I probably want to do an up left dash into that, land on that ledge that removes those spikes, then eventually I'm going up there via... Oh, that wall will become spiky. So an up left, jump, up, grab the wall, go up. <laughs> do a bunch of up. But I gotta get there first. Okay. The top of you is not spiky, I note. That seems important. I'm just gonna kind of go in here and try some stuff. Oh, that's a reverse super spot, isn't it? Probably. Or... actually, I'm not so sure. Can I do a lower super if I, uh... Yeah, if I jump less. I'm not sure I want to, though. Wouldn't it be better to, to just do it like, uh... Like this, like a forward wave dash. Well, if that's where I'm going, I don't think that's how I'm doing that, though. So I want to... What the heck? I think I want to preserve that block. Climb on it dash up here. That requires me to still have a dash when I latch onto that. What kind of jump would do that? Would a reverse air super, maybe? Like, I'm hitting my head on the spikes, but maybe a different angle could do it. So I think I'm going to latch onto that without having used my... No, I need to do a wall bounce on that and get enough height to get here. Then I, like... I'm not sure why I'd go up through that. I could do it. Maybe I... I guess I would get a little more jump height from that. I'm supposed to put my feet here. Jump up. Probably do like a wall bounce on you? I don't think that gives me enough height to get up there and then I don't have a dash. No, okay, so this is my first destination. I need to get there. Okay, I'm climbing up and over. Then... No, that's not what's happening. Okay, from number one, how do I... Okay, I can maybe do that. Let me see if I can latch onto that if I... If my... No, that's never gonna work. Okay, that's... No, that's not gonna work either. This is set up as if it's a... Uh, reverse air super, which, like, I can do? Maybe I'm just going straight up through this right away? Yeah, maybe I'm just going straight up through this right away. How am I getting enough height to get there? Well, straight from there, then what's this for? I don't know. I don't think that's gonna work. Also, I can't go straight up because I don't get the, uh, the distance for that, right? Ah, that was too high. Oh, I hate that move. No, I can't get to a spot where I can do that. And I wasn't in a place where I could wall bounce, right? <sighs> I don't think I can be simultaneously close enough and high enough. Could I do a... reverse hyper? Reverse uh, wave, rather. If I could input the right direction. I can. Okay, that's actually plausible. Let's see, I do need to edge this way a little bit for that to happen. I don't know, maybe this will work. What does the author do in this spot, do you suppose? 
Like, which motion? I can't jump when I'm coming up out, out of that and get more height, right? Like, a straight up, I don't think... No, the jump input's doing nothing. I did this once. How did I do it? What if I just do a... Uh, hang on. Yeah, what if I just do a forward extended hyper? That works fine. Okay, that's the sensible way. I can totally get there. Absolutely. Okay, I'm here. Then I think the suggestion is this, and then I go here, I probably wanted a reverse wave dash on that, or reverse air super, actually, yeah, that's what it wanted. Reverse air super out of that? Gross. Alright, fine. I almost made that work anyway. Alright. I'll do it, if you insist. I'd rather not, though. Huh. <laughs> Uh, right, do the jump. That'll get you more something. More everything. Okay, that kind of gets me close to where I need to be, but like, I need to be better than close. I need to actually be there. Alright, well. Um, after I've done that, I think I'm climbing that. That's gonna take some stamina. I think I just, like... Actually... This is a place to put my feet eventually. I think this block needs to live. I think I can't get enough height there jumping off the top of it, can I? Because I'm going to use that on the... Like, after I'm on that ledge down there to get over to here? Uh, that might not be necessary. How am I getting all the... Mm, with that wall, and then... Okay, I don't know. Let's just go up there and try things. What? <laughs> Oops, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, I was too high. That's good because that means I can get enough height. I can even get too much. And if I can get too much, I can get just the right amount. That wasn't, though. Uh, yeah, asking me to line up air supers in just, like, open space like that. I don't like that. But... It's how things are gonna be, apparently. I'm Pressing that button too early is proving to be an impossible habit to break. So it's just gonna keep on happening forever, I guess. I mean, I can keep trying, but I'll keep on failing forever. And, like, there's a lot to the room after that point. <sighs> sure am glad I didn't attempt to tack this on to the end of last session. Yep, I, I don't know why my thing didn't reverse. I guess I was too far away from the wall? Maybe? There we go. Okay, I'm here. I don't have a dash, though. Uh, I guess this is how I get it right. So I wasn't sure if I could make this work. Nope. Okay, got a clear answer. Uh, there are spikes that will unretract on the left side of that. Feels like the most sensible thing to do. Oh, but that's a problem. Feels like the most sensible thing to do is just to do an up left dash through that. Jump, ju dash up left, hope it's enough to make it up there, and I'm not actually sure it will be. If it wasn't, though, what would be? Oh right, I want to do a forward air super on that. That would... maybe go better? Okay, forward air super on the top of that thing. <laughs> Uh, from, yeah, from here, okay, but, but, but that requires me to have had a dash when I got here. I don't have one of those. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, it didn't give me enough height. Yeah. 
I cannot get to this block with a dash the first time. I guess I could go over... Th I can't go over there. That's too far away. Now, without putting my feet on the top of that. Am I trying to go there too early? Like, is there another step first? I don't think so. No, I get here from here, right? Like, that's clearly the closest surface, the top of that. So I gotta get here with a dash. Here's a place to put my feet in theory. If I could get all the way there, then I could imagine, hypothetically, a technique that could get me... Well, actually, there's lots that's trivial. But how would I be in range of this... Oh, okay, here's an idea. Uh, yeah, okay, that was the idea. I was gonna do a, yeah, that would totally work. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. That. That's totally gonna work, I just need to jump later. Okay, I'm getting used to the, uh, silly acrobatics from in the start of this faster than I expected. That's still happening sometimes, though. Yeah, and that. It's funny it doesn't, uh, doesn't disappear until I've exited it, if I die in the middle. Don't go so deep into there, just go, like, that far. I only need, like, three tiles. The four or five they're given is more than I need. Well, maybe I just had a chain of lucky runs. Yeah, I've gained no consistency. No, no, no. I just had a, a few lucky ones in a row. Uh, right, I need to wall bounce there, but late and holding to the right. A lot of stuff has to go right before that, and once I've done that, I can land here and rest for a moment. Then I'm doing another forward... Extended hyper. Get there. Don't climb onto the top of that. Jump from where? How many tiles is that? One, two, three... And a half? How far is three and a half tiles? Doing the finger measurement thing here again. I'm doing it badly. Let's do it. Okay, so doing it better. So if that's where my feet want to be... Okay, so my reference point is I want my feet right where those bottom, like the top of those left spikes are. I'll do a straight up jump. No, I'm going to jump out from the wall. Okay, so hold right, do it, does that take me the same height as... Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna... Do that motion from that height. Feet lined up with those spikes, that's my reference point. Like, as if I'm standing on the spikes, but on the other side. Hold right, jump away from the wall, dash left, jump when you're on the surface. Hope that takes you high enough to either up dash or up left dash to get on that ledge. It probably will. Then I can just do a little hop to the right, dash up left, make that disappear, do a probably reverse... Actually, no. No, at that point what I want to do is dip down, go up left through that, jump, go, or sorry, up, up right through the left side of that, jump, go up right through the left side of that, jump, hit the wall without hitting the spikes. I'm going to hold back as I jump then to the right, climb up a little bit to the point where I can dash up left. Well, yeah, put my head against that, dash up left. Do a wall bounce when you get up there because you're going to be out of stamina. Okay, you get all that? No. <laughs> I'm gonna need a refresher. But I'll do as much as I can remember at a time. Whoa, didn't think I was gonna make it, but I did. Okay, I'm here. 
Okay, so that was too low. I figured it would be somehow. I'm not sure why I miscalculated, but it felt like that was too far away. Okay, so let's try one tile above. Feet on spikes. Why is this different? Is it because I count as on the... It's because I count as on the ground. So jump from here. Is that less height? I don't have enough, enough height to test this here. Just gonna have to do it. This level's cool. I like it. I do actually enjoy what it has going. It's okay that it's hard. It has a, has a concept it wants to express, and it expresses it through precision. And that's fine. I'm actually kind of into this. Okay, so I'm gonna be here. Almost perfect. I think I want an up dash instead of a uh, up left, because I have the height, I just don't have the distance. Okay. Okay, now I'm doing this from too far left. Nice. Okay, so here, do that, do this. Yay, I'm here! Okay, so, uh huh, uh huh. Dang it. Okay, so there's such a thing as too right. I'm wondering if I'm gonna go too high when I do that? I don't think so. That seems safe. Safe as anything gets in here. Which is not very, but enough. Why is Madeline climbing this tower? What's at the top of it? A heart! That's why. She's going for a heart. I sure am glad there are no strawberries here. Imagine, just imagine, like, if this level had a strawberry, it was toward the end. I played through the whole thing. I did not find the strawberry. <laughs> oh, the shenanigans that would result. There's a little bit of a wall I can climb on down in that corner, but I don't think that's useful to getting the room done. Perhaps the shenanigans would result that would result would be me abandoning my quest for all the strawberries. I don't think that's how it would go. I am not that willing to do that. <sighs> Judging that height is hard. It probably doesn't help that the block is shaking. I guess the spikes on top are a fixed reference point, but boy, good luck figuring that out in real time. I just kind of got to, like... Do it by feel. Problem is the feel is unreliable because I come out of that with a different height depending on like how far I dip before I dash. <sighs> Could I get a consistent reference point so my dip is always the same amount? I mean, could I pull that off? <laughs> All right, so I am aiming now to have my body perfectly vertically centered with a little square block. At the very least, that should give me some, like, I'll be at least aiming for something consistent. Whether I hit it or not is another matter, but that does seem to be a good height. Because I hit it there. Okay, so that's still precise. I should definitely super jump late there. Okay. I think that is good for my consistency. Uh, I got nothing to aim for there, I just gotta eyeball that one. That timing is much more involved. Yeah, I was too low. I could tell. Okay. Getting it. Uh, part of the problem is, like, how far right I go changes my angle here. Ooh, that was... okay, well, can't recover from that. And I just gotta, like, hold the... Hold the direction and release it at some point, so controlling that part is harder than the other part. Ah, I didn't get the boost. Okay, so that's the problem with trying to jump late. Then my boost is late. Oh, that's no good. Man, I made it work so well the first time I did it. It's just... Ah. Also, do I remember what else happens in this room after this point? Maybe? Let's refresh. Once I've successfully destroyed that block. Let's do a regular jump down here. Upright through the non-spiky portion, jump at the end. Upright through the non-spiky portion, jump at the... Oh, I need... 
I need enough height to catch the like upper left part of that. Jump, I might? I probably don't want to hold back, actually. I think the angle, I just want to jump and hold right. Just climb, climb, climb. Do not break contact with the wall. Up left dash, do a really good jump, and then an up wall bounce on that, and hope. Alright. Better hope really hard. So I'm dipping too low. Dip less. And I'm not going right enough. Go right more. Yeah. That, I'm, there's nothing I can tell myself to help with this. It's just... Time it good. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to time it good. And who knows what that is. What the... That was confusing. At least it seems to be just one of those particular times. Well, then there's this. That's kind of similar. Whoa. My hair. Please come back. What is happening? Am I getting, like, performance stutters here or something? What am I seeing? I felt like I was, like, dropping frames or something. I know what I want to do, it's just I can't actually do it. How could I gain consistency at this? Like, theoretically, how could I improve at the activity I'm currently trying to do? Practice it 5,000 times and then maybe you'll be a hair better? Maybe? That's the only way I can think of. Like, what action could I do differently to... Uh, one I haven't thought of. That's the thing, like, something I haven't thought of could probably help me here, but I have no way to think of something I haven't thought of. Just either it'll happen or it won't. <sighs> I'm surprised that worked. So surprised I couldn't do the follow-up action. <sighs> and how was I too low there? I thought my angle wouldn't have put me there. So, like, I can't judge. It's either going to work or it's not, and I won't know ahead of time. That felt like roughly the same height, and then I was too high. That was definitely too low, and I was perfect. <laughs> Dang it! Ah, I don't know anything. That's a little high, yep, sure was. That's way too high. I could tell with that one at least. That's a new one. Oh, this has devolved. I have a plan. Once the ten minutes goes by that lets me actually try it out, I'll have forgotten what it was. Then another ten minutes will go by and I'll forget it a second time. That's part of the challenge, I guess. Kinda wish it wasn't, like... My midroom checkpoint's such a bad thing. I'm at one now. There's a midroom checkpoint right there. Do you want to redo the entire, like, last episode just to get here? No, I don't. Well... At least I got there again. I don't know why I've just lost my ability to do literally anything here. Like, I've done this so many times, but not recently. It just, it stopped working. It started working again. Good. Okay, I'm here. I go there. I do that, and I do this, and I'm here. Do I want to just, like, drop? I don't think so. I think I'm going to jump, like... I can, I can try multiple times. Okay, I'm here. The rest of this should be easy? Hmm. Unforeseen problem. That's not enough height. What does that mean? I need a, uh, I need like a perfect 45 degree angle on my screen, a little reference point. I don't have one of those. 
looking at this, eyeballing it. If I could continue maintaining a... Yeah, okay, I can see this. <laughs> I need to go get a ruler. Alright, ruler has been used. From the left side of this block, like the top left corner, it's on my current screen at this zoom level, 21 millimeters from there to this spike wall on the right. From there on the spike wall to the right, it's 17 millimeters to the spike free part. Technically, if I could main up, maintain a perfect 45 degree angle without losing any from, like, gravity, the whole way there, that would be just about enough room for Madeline. Madeline is, at this size, uh, looking at binoculars and her size will change, about like, uh, at this size, she's a little under, right around two and a half. Okay. The zoom is not much of a difference. 19.5, 21, yes. <laughs> 1.5 millimeters of let. Great. Maybe I do want to do the thing where I curve my... Okay, let's, let's try something. So to, to get like a steeper than 45 degree angle here, I could jump left coming out of that, then steer right and grab the wall. That was my original plan. It takes forever to get an attempt that's good enough to actually try that though, and I don't know if it'll work. Well, that feels bad. Something I cannot test at the end of a long chain of precise inputs. But I don't have a lot of choice here. I'm just gonna have to do that because otherwise the the alternative well okay so try for a perfect 45 degree angle the whole way through if you fail try to adjust in that particular way I need to I need to do like a neutral jump there or something but that's going to affect my height that's probably fine I won't do it much it's like the distance really doesn't matter I tried to adjust for the dip and like wait longer to do that, but then that didn't work. No, I really just have to nail like that transfer in a little tiny square. Just, I can't tell what I need to do to do that. Either it happens or it doesn't. It's only kind of under my control. No, that was, that's no, that's no. I didn't even attempt because that was impossible. <sighs> I'm here. That was not a neutral jump. It Oh. But if I go straight up, I can still air super. I don't need the outward. Okay. So do go straight up for the air super. That'll line me up better. Everything's better about that. Okay, I just didn't realize I could do that. I guess I never tried it. Until I did by accident. And now I know. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Straight up. Ooh, okay, that gives me so much more distance. That's easy. Okay. Now, angles. My stamina, I assume, is refreshed by going through a dream block. Therefore, if I could get it, I can't get an angle to do that. Hi! Somehow I bounced off of that right because I was trying to maintain my angle. I was saying if I could jump from there to here and climb on that, I could climb up a little bit and control my angle that way, but that's not how that happened. Measuring again. I can't get my ruler where I want it. There, that'll help. That's about 12, this is about 13. The top of this block 
is like so a 45 degree angle from the upper left corner of this block to the upper left uh, to this block ends one tile short of the top of this block can I dash through here jump make it there without an additional dash catch the bottom climb up dash upright then climb more I think I could have enough stamina to do that. The question is, would the angle allow it? How high do I jump out of a dream block? Well, I'll try it. That seems more promising than doing the other thing just like absolutely perfectly. I get a lot of height. And there's just no place I can really test this ahead of time, though. I guess I could like save and quit and go to another level. Or the library! Oh, check it, we're gonna go to the library again. <laughs> Alright, I just need like a free dream block that I can play with. And judge how much height I can get jumping out of it and like how much distance. Where would I find one of those? This is the sensible way to get to the library from here and back. I just need a dream block playground in here. Uh, there was a decent one of those in the beginner gym, I think. Uh, how do I get there easily? Library will take me here. Beginner gym is here. Then I want dream jump, maybe? Wasn't there a good one of these somewhere here? Anywhere, maybe. Man, <laughs> look how trivial all of this is. Nah, no free dream block playground there. So I can just do all that in one motion, all I want. Okay. Uh, all right, well. No, that's not a place where that works. Okay, I'd like to go back. I just need a dream block I can play with, just kind of in open space. The library is more likely for that than the gym. So, hit boxes. All right, I'm just gonna find somewhere there's a dream block anywhere in the library. <laughs> well, I could not find a free dream block anywhere in the library where I could test whatever it was I wanted to test, and by now I've forgotten what I even wanted to test. So let's just uh, keep at it here and hope that I uh, figure it out the hard way, I guess. <laughs> Ah, so yeah, in addition to gym and library, I need a playground that just has some some free elements to play with that I can see how they behave, but there isn't one of those. I guess the, the like, the lobby is, is that maybe somewhere in one of the lobbies is a free dream block. That seems likely. Ah, dang it. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's so much easier now that I'm going straight up. You are gone. Your sound plays from far away. So I was going to try to go... Up right through the corner of that, jump, grab that without dashing again. I don't think it's gonna work. Achoo. It did. Okay. That's the key. Well, I hit the spikes on my head on the last second, but like, okay, that's the way. The hard way turned out not to be so hard after all. Okay, so just get a good run on the way there. I, I mean, I did it. Like, the room is clear. I tripped on a final obstacle, but that's fine. The room is clear. I can easily do that again. I have solved the puzzle. Still gotta execute, but I've solved the puzzle. Cool. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Do that. <laughs> okay, I'm here. <laughs> oh. The 
timing there is surprisingly tricky. I will, however, have the dam the the the, the, the stamina to climb. Yes, stamina to climb just fine. So don't try to wall bounce. Just try to grab that wall. So wall bounce is much more precise than I need to be there. Good. Good. What? How did my dash go left instead of up left? I thought it was holding up left. Apparently not though. Ooh, that counted surprisingly. Like, this is basically free now, it's just don't have weird input errors go wrong. There we go. Yay, I did it! Okay, and now we have the return of these things from Forest Rush. Or, no, Forest Rush was a level in this lobby. Forest Path? Forest something? Something from the beginner lobby. Alright, well, I cleared another half of a room. <laughs> See you next time for a quarter room, maybe? How far do you suppose I'm through with this? 30%? 70%? Maybe this is final room, but I'm not going to peek in the binoculars to find out. I feel like I'm maybe halfway-ish. That would be my guess if I were to guess. Alright, see you next time to see what's going on in here.